Karibu tena mtazamaji tuendelee na sehemu yetu ya pili ya taarifa za mbiu ya KTN la asili hii. Baadhi ya viongozi na wafuasi wa chama cha ANC hapa jijini Nairobi wamepuzilia mbali fununu zinazodai kuwa chama cha ANC kivunjuliwe mbali na kujiunga na UDA. Viongozi hao wamesema watafanya kila wawezalo ili kuhakikisha kwamba chama hicho kipo imara na hakitajiunga na chama kingine. Na angalia kama tumewachwa yatima. Ningependa kuhakikishia wa Kenya kwamba ANC ni chama imara na ANC ni chama ambacho kinalindwa na katiba na kinaongozwa na katiba yake. Na kwa vyote vile eh, na uhakikishie wa Kenya kwamba ANC haiwezi kavunjwa na haiwezi ka ingia kwa murengo wati ya kusema kwamba tuvunje tutengeneze chama moja mwenye alikuja na hiyo maoni naweza sema ni maoni yake lakini sio maoni ya chama to make it clear that nc we are strengthening as from now henceforth and we are going to compete favorably within the the Kenya Kwanza and the other parties in Kenya na tunataka kuon members wa nc ya kwamba let's remain strong na msianze kuadaiwa kuingia via mazingine na tunaenda kuanza mikakati zetu kama wana Nairobi tunawakaribisha wote waingie kwa chama cha ANC viongozi wote wenye wanaona kile chama kwa sababu chama cha ANC tunataka kuambia kwamba ndicho cha pili katika serikali hii Joyce Kavutha huyu mkazi wa kitongoji duni cha Kiandu huko Thika County ya Kiambu alipokuwa katika darasa la saba ndoto yake ilikuwa ni kuikomboa familia yake kutokana na minyororo ya umaskini ili kuweza ama ilikuwa imekatizwa hali ya umaskini ya wazazi wake iliwaashiria kwamba alikuwa kielekea kufeli maishani kwani hawakuweza kumudu ada ya elimu katika hatua za shule na sekund, za sekondari na zilizofuata kijana mwerevu na mwenye matamanio kavutha aliendelea kutafuta elimu bila kujua kwamba mafanikio yake yalikuwa ndani ya kijiji kilichokuwa kimejaa ambapo amekuwa akikaa na wazazi wake a lot of young girls wanajipatanga wana engage in sexual activities ndo upate do but the moment una join dreams unakuwa empowered una unajijua una wewe as a person nili join dreams nikiwa class 7 2017 and dreams imenisaidia sana from ku attend these sub sessions nimesoma vitu mingi nime gain courage we've also had a reduction in new hiv infections among young girls uh, this is because uh, they get empowered on the various ways to prevent themselves from hiv and uh, we are also experiencing a reduction in the number of teen pregnancies especially with the girls that are retained within or among the girls that are within the program we also train them in terms of economic strengthening that means that um, we give them the capacity to be independent economically either through giving them training them giving them skills or working with the other collaborators to to train them girls have been able to be empowered with skills and they have been able to open their business na mama mjamzito kutoka kijiji cha Malkadaka county ndogo ya Garbatula huko Isiolo ambaye alihitaji upasuaji wa dharura na uangalizi amefanikiwa kuokolewa kupitia helikopta baada ya gari lililo, la gari la mgonjwa lililokuwa likimsafirisha hadi hospitali ya mafunzo ya rufaa kaunti ya Isiolo kukwama katika eneo la Kulamawe kutokana na mvua kubwa ambayo inaendelea kushuhudiwa katika sehemu hiyo shughuli ya uokoaji iliyofanyika ama ilifanikiwa ilifadhiliwa na serikali ya kaunti ya Isiolo na shirika la Northern Range and Rangelands Trust NRT pamoja na shirika lile la uhifadhi wa mazingira ya wanyama ya Lewa Wildlife Conservancy ambao walipeana usaidizi huo Yeah today in the morning we we had a maternal case from Malkadaka and uh, the patient needed uh, uh, 
critical care at our facility. So uh, we involved NRT vehicles who helped us move the patient from uh, Malkadaka to Garbatula. Later on, our vehicle moved, our ambulances moved the patient from uh, Malkadaka on its way to our referral facility at Isiolo. But due to the heavy rains that are ongoing, the vehicle could not, could not come through uh, because the roads were submerged with water. So, uh, through the effort of our governor, who reached out to the management of uh, Lewa, they helped us in evacuating the patient from Kulamawe to our facility. Uh, the patient has arrived. Our medical personnel have looked at her, and we are happy to report that the patient has arrived while, in, while stable. And uh, we want to say thank you to the management of uh, both Lewa Dams and NRT for, for their support. Wakimbizi wa ndani kwa ndani kutoka kanda za Nyanza na Magharibi mwa Kenya wanadai kuwa wamesuluhisha tofauti kati yao kwa lengo la kupata fidia kutoka kwa serikali chini ya mvulio wa kimbizi wa Nyanza na Magharibi wakimbizi hao wameelezea wasiwasi wao juu ya mizozo ambayo ilitishia kudhoofisha juhudi za, za kunufaika na msaada wa serikali changamoto zilizokumba baraza hilo ni pamoja na kukosa majina kutoka kwa orodha ya wanao unufaika na kesi zilizosikilizwa mahakamani James Oro ambaye ni mratibu wa mvuli huu amesema kuwa swala la majina sasa limetatuliwa sawa na mambo ambayo yaliyosababisha mzozo huo Tumekubaliana kwa umoja kwamba yale matatizo yote yametupiliwa mbali kama ni mambo ya koti imetolewa na kila kitu kimekuwa swali saa tutaanza hii safari tukiwa pamoja kuanzia sasa na kuendelea mpaka watu wetu walipo nataka kuwaomba ndugu waheshimiwa wachumbe wote kutoka Nyamira, Kisi wote waungane ili wasaidia wa kisi ambao wametafika kwa miaka mingi sana jambo lingine ni kwamba wakati wengine wanavyosaidia sehemu zao hatuchui wale wachumbe ambao tulio wajagua nyinyi mko wapi pira tumemaliza Hakuna shida yoyote kwa mwananchi yoyote yura aliyadirika ataweza sema ati atuko pamoja na waumini katoliki walijumuika katika kanisa katoliki la parokia ya Maliki eneo bunge la Tonga Ren kule katika kaunti ya Bungoma huku kushuhudia hafla ya kipekee ya wanaharusi zaidi ya 60 ambao walijitokeza kuhalalisha ndoa zao kwa pamoja hafla hiyo iliongozwa na askofu Mark Kadima wa Jimbo la Bungoma iliyohusisha wanandoa wa kila rika huku wakazi wakijitokeza kwa wingi ili kushuhudia hafla hiyo ya kufana askofu Kadima aliwashukuru maharusi hao kwa hatua ambao wamechukua akiwashauri kuishi katika ama kwa upendo mbali na kuvumiliana wanapokumbana na changamoto za kila siku maishani huku wanandoa mama wanandoa Christine Barasa akielezea furaha yake baada ya kuunganishwa katika hafla hiyo mama kae vizuri angae Serikali na washirika kutoka kampuni ya mashirika mbalimbali wametwikwa ama wametakiwa kushirikiana na vyuo vikuu 
kwa kuwapa fedha ili kusaidia katika ubunifu akizungumza wakati wa mkutano wa wiki ya ubunifu wa chama ama katika chuo kikuu cha KCA na kilele cha viwanda Profesa Vincent Onyera ambaye ni naibu ali anaisimamia utafiti uvumbuzi na uhamasishaji alisema kwamba wanafunzi wana mawazo ya kubunifu ya kibunifu lakini bila rasilmali hawawezi kutekeleza aliongezea kusema kwamba wametenga fedha kama chuo kikuu kusaidia kufanikisha miradi ya ubunifu ambayo itasaidia kupata suluhisho la matatizo ambayo yanaweza kukuza uchumi wa nchi Kenya has taken off with more than 60,000 young people I think the academia must work with the industry to ensure that we provide an enabling environment for research for science for technology for innovation and commercialization of research outputs been able to offer thought leadership especially uh, to this particular event uh, to uh, equip students with tools from some of our platforms so that they are able to innovate faster but also the design thinking skill in terms of how to develop prototypes into products so I urge the government to fund us as universities and also to look out for the big projects because i know the projects that we have here they build our economy uh, they play a big part in our in in Kenya uh, in both the digital and economy uh, the innovation week has been very insightful i've made key friends partners in my to enable my career go further and to just give a, give something back to my community i always want to advise more women to come and join women in stem and just work together because women in stem we are able to do it and we can do it when we are together kwa kawaida furaha ya kila mama hubainika wazi anapojifungua mtoto ila kwa wazazi ambao watoto wao huzaliwa na ulemavu wa sehemu ya juu ya mdomo basi kujifungua kwao huja na changamoto za aina yake wengi huendelea kutaabika wanapojaribu kulea watoto hao ambao huwa na ugumu wa kula na kuzungumza gharama ya matibabu hayo pia huwa ni ghali mno upasuaji wake ukigarimu takriban shilingi laki nne kama anavyoarifu mwanahabari Clement Masombo wengi wanafueni sasa baada ya shirika la kibinafsi kutoa huduma za upasuaji na matibabu ya hali hiyo bila malipo katika hospitali ya rufaa ya Nyeri Ulimwengu ulipoadhimisha siku ya tabasamu ambayo huadhimishwa kila Ijumaa ya kwanza ya mwezi Oktoba watoto na watu wazima waliona ulemavu wa sehemu ya juu ya mdomo maarufu kama cleft lip and palate hatimaye walipata sababu ya kutabasamu baada ya kupata matibabu bila malipo ambayo ni upasuaji wa kurekebisha ulemavu huo Upasuaji huo ulidhaminiwa na shirika la Smile Train ambalo hutoa huduma za upasuaji kwa watoto wanaoishi na hali hii. We have the opportunity to mark this day with uh, beneficiaries of uh, cleft lip and palate uh, surgery. We have been doing these surgeries to our clients uh, who have visited us uh, since 2013 in partnership with uh, Smile train they have supported the cleft lip and uh, palate uh, surgeries wazazi wa watoto waliona hali hii huana wakati mgumu kukabiliana na unyanyapaa watoto wanapokuwa mara nyingi watoto wenye hali hii huwa na changamoto ya kula na kuzungumza vizuri Judy Kiragu ni mmoja kati ya wazazi hao na aliyesafiri kutoka kaunti ya Kirinyaga hadi Nyeri kwa matibabu hayo muhimu kwa mwanawe nimetoka kaunti ya Kirinyaga Uh, nilibarikiwa na mtoto ambaye alikuwa na shida ya cleft lip na cleft palate. Uh, ni haikuwa matarajio yangu kama wazazi wale wengine. What happens now when the children are born with cleft lip? The main issue is feeding. They will not be able to feed. A baby needs to breastfeed. When they will not be able to suck if there's a gap in the mouth. This 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 mouth will not form a what you call a sphincter to pull the milk so the baby will not be able to feed japo safari yake haijawa rahisi gharama matibabu pia anasema ni ya juu kabla ya huduma bila malipo hospitali aliyotangulia kuzuru alihitajika kulipa shilingi laki nne kwa upasuaji huo uh, kwa hospitali ambazo nilikuwa nimetembelea kwenye nilipata kuitishwa pesa ya chini sana nilikuwa nimeitishwa 400000 na kama mzazi mimi singewaza kupata ile pesa lakini wakati niritembea hapa Nyeri under the smile and train tulifanyiwa hiyo matibabu buri 
So mi ni miko na furaha sana siku ya leo kwa maana naona mtoto wangu anakuwa kama wale watoto wengine. Anthony Kimaru pia alizaliwa na ule mavuhu wa sehemu ya juu ya mdomo. Anaeleza changamoto alizokumbana nazo maishani. I was suffering challenges such as feeling sometimes I have to eat special food sometimes the speech others will imitate me and you see initiatives like what we are doing today today we are celebrating world smile day so we've brought in patients who've been treated with cleft and this is to make them feel loved and feel uh, like uh, bring them back to the society kulingana na Shaban Saidi daktari wa upasuaji hospitali ya Rufaa ya kaunti ya Nyeri kuna ripoti wa angalau kisa kimoja cha cleft lip kwa kila watoto 500 wanaozaliwa. If for every 500 births you will get one cleft. Every five, it's, it's a very common condition, it's not a rare condition. Um, it, occur, it can occur anywhere. The incidence everywhere but in African African population is more it's more common than in the Caucasians. Clement Masombo, KTN News, Kaunti ya Nyeri. Mtazamaji taarifa hiyo inatukamilishia taarifa za mbiu ya KTN la siri hii ya siku ya Ijumaa. Asante sana kutazama taarifa zaidi basi tuungane nasi mwendo wa saa moja kwenye taarifa za KTN leo ama dira ya wiki ambapo tutakuwa na taarifa kuu ambazo tumekuwa nazo na nyingine zaidi. Mimi naitwa Ali Manzu kwenye muda usokuwa mrefu kipindi cha zilizala viwanjani kinaanza endelea kuwa nasi.